If you don't know who Bosman 103 is, I would suggest that you come out of that cave that you've been living in for the last couple of years. But joking aside, if you don't know who he is, I really should suggest that you check out his channel. So before you get into this video, go to his channel, I'll put an annotation here, and furthermore, before you check out this video, go check out another annotation, his video in which he asks five questions. Now the nice thing about his five questions video as opposed to many other X number of questions to such and such a type of person is that first of all he asks five questions that are directed at pretty much anybody and second of all I don't think his questions are leading. So all too often you get videos like five questions for atheists and they're posed by a theist and they're all equally leading questions and you kind of feel like why am I bothering answering these whereas with his questions I felt yeah I'd like answering these questions so go there whether you're a theist or an atheist or anything in between whatever you call yourself there are five interesting questions that may be worth your while answering so go and check them out but here are my answers to those five questions question number one I, of course, am going to answer these questions from the perspective of being an atheist because I don't believe in any gods and that makes me an atheist. So, what do you think the biggest problem with your side is? And my answer to that is, there is no problem with my side. Now, of course, that sounds incredibly arrogant, conceited, and deluded even at face value but let me explain where I'm coming from and then hopefully it will make some sense because first of all I don't think there is any side in the sense that this is a common ground that I need to share with everybody else who calls themselves an atheist so yes there are other people out there who call themselves atheists and what I have in common with them is that neither they nor I believe in any gods. And that's it. Other than that, there is no side. There is no shared position. There can be, of course. And I mean, there are plenty of atheists out there with whom I share many opinions. But that's not a given. That's not something that, can, that I can a priori assume. So, the first reason why I say there is no problem with my side is because my side is my side. It's my perspective, my personal perspective on things. So there is no problem basically because this is my perspective and it's my responsibility and I'm happy to carry that responsibility. What's more, and that is the real reason why there is no problem with my side, is that I am very willing to accept that I can get it completely wrong. I have got it completely wrong on many previous occasions. So whatever position I take is open for change, even though it might sometimes be quite hard to change because I'm a stubborn little so-and-so. But all my positions are open to modification. So if I come to the right realization that I am mistaken about something, then I take it as my prerogative to change my mind about something. And that is the true reason why there is no problem with my side. Everything that I do happen to get wrong, I can change. And that's why there's nothing wrong with my side. There are no problems with my side. Question number two. If you could convert, deconvert, so in my case, I guess the, the operative word would be deconvert, five people, who would they be and why? I will not answer that question. I do not want, I would not in my wildest dreams consider deconverting anybody. It is completely anathema to my perspective to want to deconvert anybody. 
I don't believe in any gods. What is there to to get somebody around to? What is there to convince anybody of? I just don't believe in, if I have to use a rude expression, your nonsense, your BS. But there's no emotional investment to me in that position, nor do I see the need of anybody else to be converted. Now, of course, I could make the facetious answer. I could go for the fun answer to that and say, like, oh, wouldn't it be fun if the Pope converted or deconverted? And yeah, that would be hilarious and would be a good laugh and all that, but no. And in all fairness, you know, if you kind of get a little bit more serious about this and you start thinking about these positions, somebody like the Pope is a figurehead who represents a billion people who call themselves Roman Catholics. And if he were to deconvert, if he were to just one day stand up and say, like, guys, I figured it all out. I think it's all complete and utter bunkum and uh, see it. All that would happen is that he would get kicked out. He would be the first pope who would actually be deposited rather than, you know, die of old age. Old age. And um, all that would happen is that somebody else would take his place and the whole merry-go-round would carry on as before. What I would much rather prefer is that anybody in a position of power, such as his, such as the popes or any other religious leader, if they don't deconvert, then they would arrive at positions that are based on a humane perspective, a perspective of empathy, compassion, looking at other people as human beings, accepting other people as human beings. And it would be much better that the Pope remaining a Roman Catholic and therefore continuing to command the following of these billion people, or at least a large proportion thereof, would get them to reconsider their position and become more humane and more embracing of different outlooks on life, different religions, and of course people who have no religion. Now, some progress is being made in that regards. A lot more can be made in that regards. And that's what I'm going to leave it at. Question number three. Would you ever date anyone from the other side? If so, not. If so, why? And if not, why? Okay. Well, first of all, let me refer you back to question number one and reject the whole notion of there being another side or, well, you know, my side is my personal side. So the other side comprises of all seven billion or so other people in the world. But even if I take it as more literally as what Bosman intended, and you know, considering I'm an atheist, the other side being theists, well, I can only point at the reality, which is that I have, of course, dated somebody from the other side, being a Roman Catholic. I dated her, I got engaged to her, I married her, and we've got a lovely young daughter at the moment. And we're still happily married. So that's a yes, I guess. And why? Because there are more important things to be worried about than whether or not I believe in the God that she believes in. There are moral standpoints to consider, outlooks on life, other points of view, and many of which we agree on obviously, because we consider ourselves to be compatible and we got married. So there you are. Four. Question number four. If you found out that there was no God, how would it change your life or perspective on life? I can't answer that question because that will never happen. Uh, I am going to be quite kind of rigid about that. I am i don't see the point in engaging in considering hypotheticals that are effectively impossible. I will never find out 
that there is a God in the sense that those people who claim that they believe in gods, the gods that they claim they believe in, those gods, I'm going to be very blunt, don't exist. And I will therefore never find out that such gods do exist. There is no omnipotent God. There is no supernatural entity. There is nothing outside reality. Everything that exists, exists within reality. It is part of reality. It is inextricably linked to reality and part of the whole thing. There is one unified reality and we are all participating in it. We are all part of this holistic unity that is reality. And there's no place for God in that, as far as I'm concerned. So, there will be no change in my life, there will be no change in my perspective, there is no God, it will never happen. Sorry if that upsets anybody. Question number five. What is the most positive thing about the other side? So in this case, again, I'm going to take the, the, the polar position there, you know, as atheism compared to theism. So what is the most positive thing about the other side? And again, you're not going to like this answer, I think, because I'm going to say there is no positive thing about the other side. But again, don't get me wrong, because the only perspective that I can validly present here is my own. And from my perspective, it makes no sense whatsoever to even consider the other side. See my answer to question number four. There is no God. It is completely nonsensical for me to be a theist. There is no positive aspect to it for me. But answering that question is, in fairness, a pointless exercise. It makes no sense because the only perspective that I can take and the only point of view that I can argue from is my own. I cannot say anything about what might be positive about being a theist from the perspective of somebody who makes that choice. I cannot say there is nothing positive about being a theist for you, because I cannot take your perspective. You will have to make that decision for yourself. And perhaps it is quite possible that for you there are many positive aspects of being a theist. And then I would have to accept that for you it is right to be a theist. Even if, from a literal perspective, I think you are believing in something that doesn't exist. You are barking up the wrong tree. But if that is the right thing for you to do for some reason, if it is right for you to believe in something that doesn't exist, then so be it. And it is not my position to tell you that you shouldn't do it, that you cannot do it, and that it's wrong for you to do it. That's for you to decide for yourself, not for me to say anything about. If it is something that makes you a better human being, for whatever reason, and from your own perspective, then it's the right thing for you to do. And that's the end of that. So I hope that answers my, your five questions. I don't know how satisfied you're going to be with these answers, but there you have them.